Hey guys, it's Tiffany and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be doing, or starting I should say, my birthday prep. Woohoo! So it is birthday season for me. And also my dad because I was born on his birthday. So shout out to you, father, if you're watching this. But my birthday is November 13th and today is November 1st. So I just want to start early because one, I'm excited and I have all the supplies that I need. And plus, I just want to start early so I won't be rushing because I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of homework the week of my birthday. My birthday is on a Saturday, so I just want to be prepared. So, what I have, oh, also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do vlogs, I do sewing videos, I occasionally do hair videos. I guess it's kind of a hair video, you'll see why. And, um, yeah, so that's what I do. So, the prep that I'm going to be doing for my birthday is making a wig and bedazzling my corset. So, I already bought my... Um, birthday dress it's like a white blouse um dress and it's like cinched in the waist and then i bought a, a black mesh corset and then i bought um like rhinestones to go with the corset so what i'm gonna do since the rhinestones are kind of like on a chain um i'll show you that when i actually do it but there is like a rhinestone chain kind of so i'm gonna be gluing that on to the corset just to bedazzle it you know add my little touch to it add a little spice to it and then today i'm going to be starting i don't know if I, I might finish but i don't know if i will i'm going to be starting um my wig so i'm gonna do a crochet wig um i'm using i'm gonna be using this crochet wig cap i've used this before if you haven't seen the video where i did like a trendy summer hairstyle and it was like a half wig with like the cornrows this is the same cap that i use so go watch that if you haven't and this one comes with comb so like in the last video um i will probably be i might move the combs because i think it comes with like two combs in the back and one comb in the front we'll see how i feel about that and then I got this hair from the hair store. It is Water Wave hair. Um, I decided to stick with, this is, what is it, Lulu Trust. I've never, I don't think I've ever worked with this brand. But it should be, it should be fine. You know, it's Water Wave hair. I decided to go with the Water Wave curl pattern because I had already had this pack of Brazilian Water Wave by Bobby Boss. So I was like, let me just, to save money, let me just buy two packs of the same hair so this one came in a three three bundle pack um and this is what is it 20 inches and the one i have is 18 inches so i might put the 18 inches in the front because i'll make it like a bang in the front because i'm also wearing a fedora with my um with my outfit so i want to have like bangs in the front um, so I think that's what I'll do. Hopefully this is enough hair. And then of course you need your, your crochet hook. And then I bought a foam head just so I could have something, um, you know, to put the wig cap on so I can crochet it on there. So this is all the supplies I'm going to be using today. Um, and yeah, let's get straight into it. Y'all. So I bought the hair, right? I even bought the wig head, okay? The wig cap showed y'all the details, showed y'all the brand, all that inches, color, all that. Baby, I didn't even wear the wig, okay? I did not even wear that wig. Like, oh my gosh, it was a wig fail. It was a wig fail, okay? I just put y'all on that. I'm gonna put a pic on the screen so y'all can see, but that was a wig fail. Like, mm -mm. So I'm gonna spare y'all. Um, watching me put together this wig because it didn't even turn out how I liked. Like, I think it was because maybe the curl pattern. I didn't really like the curl pattern, maybe. I thought I did. I was just going to work with it. But if I didn't have that pack of hair already, I would probably have done a different curl pattern. 
and maybe I put too much like hair on the crochet wig cap and maybe how I cut the bangs because the bangs was like poofy and like sticking out y'all seen the picture I was like mm -mm, it's not giving it's not giving I'm not trying to look like Lord Farquaad on my birthday no mm -mm. and I try to cut it no 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 sorry and I think it's also because I never made like a full crochet wig um for myself i made the crochet half wig in my video um uh, i'll put that in the cards above so y'all can watch that video if you want to see that one that, that, was cute. that was cute that was cute but this one no i didn't like it at all so i just wore my natural hair and then it was too poofy so i couldn't even put the fedora on i'm like if i gotta leave the fedora i don't want the hair throw the hair away like no so i just wore my natural hair um, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you will see the pictures that I posted. Um, but if y'all want me to do a video on, like, maybe I can try to, like, revive that wig or, like, try to shape it up and, like, make it look cute, let me know in the comments down below. And I got y'all. I can do that for y'all. I can do it. It might be another fail, but I can at least try. You feel me? So, yeah. I just want y'all to know. No need. You're not going to see a tutorial on how I did it because it didn't work. All right? So, just keep watching it, and I will see y'all later. Bye. So, I'm back again. You know what I'm saying? I was just kidding. I miss y'all. <laughs> but anyway, so this is, like, I'll say, like, day two of my birthday prep. Um, I'm bedazzling the corset today. And um, I didn't record an intro for this because my roommate was in the room. And sometimes I feel weird, like... When other people in the room were like recording for the other people so i'm just showing y'all the supplies i've got the corset from amazon i got the rhinestone chain from amazon and i got the super fabric adhesive from walmart um i had the clips out the sewing clips out but i didn't even need them i don't know i thought i was gonna need them but i didn't need them um i'll say the the amazon corset it was it was actually pretty good quality um, it wasn't as flimsy as I thought it was going to be. It didn't tear on me or anything. Even though I had to pull tight on me when I wore it. Um, but what I'm doing right now, I'm just, I just, uh, took the rhinestone chain. And I just measured it, um, to the length of the boning channels. I didn't put on all of them. I just put it on the first five channels that you're just going to be able to see in the front. And I'm going to just, um, take a thin layer of glue and um i'm just gonna put it right in the middle of the boning channel and then just set the rhinestone chain right on top of it this adhesive it does have a little bit of a smell i will say that um but even though i'm in a dorm room it wasn't overpowering not in my opinion it wasn't overpowering so um yeah and it is it was pretty strong you know i didn't have any problems nothing fell off and I let it sit for, I think, like, two or three days. Like, let it fully dry for two or three days. Just to be sure. Um, but, yeah. So, I just want y'all to enjoy the process. I don't want to keep rambling. But I just want to give y'all that little information. And I will see y'all later. Bye.
back again for the third time and today is your girl's birthday yes your girl is 19 i can't believe it oh my gosh where has the time gone on it's my glow day as they say you feel what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah so i'm just getting ready right here um we're getting ready to go to i decided on going to pottery painting in the morning and um, we went out to eat in the evening but y'all see that later so yeah just enjoy the process and i'll see y'all later bye for the video but it was too loud in there but this is us at the pottery um painting place so this is my mug it's cow print it's blue on the outside pink on the inside it has my initial on it and this is my friend courtney's piece she got like a lantern she was trying to go for like tangled a tangled theme because she got the floating lights on there and then this is mom's piece um, I think it's like a lantern, a candle holder. That's how hers was looking. Carol Kong. And then this is my friend Hannah. She was going for like a gradient ombre look. She got a lantern as well. And then this is Cameron's with that big old mug. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she got, um, she's doing a cow print too. Hers is blue and pink. Mine is pink and blue. We both got initials on it. Very cute, very cute. And then this is dad. He got a jet and he's, you know, being very detailed with it, taking his time. But yeah, so I just want to pop in, just explain what was going on. So bye.
to Howard University in DC. I was spending my birthday in DC and I thought it was just gonna be me and my friends. I didn't know that I was going to see my parents for my birthday. So they ended up coming up to DC to surprise me and they ended up surprising me um, right before we were leaving the dorm to go to the pottery painting place. Like literally, we was in the Uber. My mom was like, hold on, wait. And I was like, what? And then I seen them across the street. So that was fun having them there. Um, like I said, especially since it's, it was also my dad's birthday as well. So that was cool that we got to spend it together. And then at night we went to the restaurant, which is called Guapos of Georgetown, I believe it was called. It was a Mexican restaurant. And they, the food was really good. Um, I didn't get that many clips um, while we were at the restaurant because I was just like, just enjoying the moment, you know what I mean? Um, but I did record them when they sang happy birthday to me and my father. So we had a good time. Overall, it was a good birthday. It was tiring though. I was tired when we got back to the dorm. So I had a good day, but this is the end of the vlog. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video.